mapping diagrams in functions. Example one, a function f is defined as that when you input x, it's mapped onto three times x minus two. The domain of f is zero, one, two, three, and four. These are our input values. We're asked to represent f on a mapping diagram to write out the couples generated. And we're asked what the range of f is. A mapping diagram is created using two ovals like this. In this diagram, we're going to show how each input is mapped onto one output. And that's what the definition of a function is. We call the first oval here our domain, our input values. Our input values in this question are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. There's exactly only these five input values in our domain. The second oval, which will contain within it the range or output values, is called the codomain. So what are the actual numbers that appear in this codomain? What is the range of this function? Well, let's put a few inputs in and see what happens. When we input zero, we call this f of zero. The rule is under the rule f that we multiply the input by three, that's three x, and take away two. Three zeros are zero minus two. So zero minus two will be negative two. So our first output value is negative two. That zero is mapped on to negative two. When we input one, we get three times one minus two, which is three minus two, which is equal to one. So we'll show on our mapping diagram that one is mapped on to one. When we input two, we get three twos minus two, which is six minus two, which is four. So we show that two is mapped on to four. Input three, we get three times three minus two, which is nine minus two, which is equal to seven. And lastly, when we input four, f of four will give us three times four minus two, which is 12 minus two, which is equal to 10. So this is our completed mapping diagram. The second part of the question is asking us to write out the list of couples that are generated. The couples are a list of inputs with the outputs. When we're writing the couples, we use these round brackets. So input zero, we get negative two, and that's how we represent it. We have input one, we get one. Input two, we get four. Input three, the output is seven. And input four, and the output is 10. So these are the five couples generated. We're also asked what is the range of f. So these are the used elements in the codomain. So the range values, and we list them using a set bracket here, are negative two, one, four, seven, and 10. There's exactly five elements in the range. 